This here is the student view of Google Meet with the activities feature. Up here, students will notice they have the activities icon. When they click on it, they will see breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A. However, students do not have any host controls of the breakout rooms, the polls, or the Q&A. Only the teacher does. So let's take a look at what it looks like for students when the teacher activates breakout rooms. Here on the student view, it shows that I've been assigned to breakout room one. I need to click join. You will see another student has been assigned to breakout room one with me. If I am ready before the teacher calls us back to return to the main call, I can. Otherwise, I can wait until the teacher calls me back. You will see now that the teacher has called us back and we need to return to the main call. So I need to select return to main call. You can see now that all of my peers have also returned to the main call. Now let's check out what it looks like for students when the teacher activates a poll. A pop-up shows me that a new poll has been launched. You'll notice the green dot over the activities, so students will need to click activities and the green dot here indicating that a poll has been launched. Now, I will need to vote for my favorite color and then wait for either the teacher to show the other results or end the poll. Here is what it looks like if the teacher allows for me to see the results of my peers. It'll show me on my screen what my peers have voted for. You can see it adjusts in live time. The last feature that we're gonna take a look at from the student view is the Q&A feature. Clicking on Q&A, which is something that the students can do at any time during the meet. If I have a question to ask, I simply click ask a question. And then I can go ahead and post the question. It'll show who has posted it, I can choose to trash it if I realize that I didn't want to ask that question, or I could upvote my own question. My peers can also upvote my question if they have the same one. And now you will see it updated live. If a peer has a question, it will pop up in my Q&A section. Here, I can see that student three asked a question, and I also want to know the same answer to this question, so I can upvote it. As a student, I also have the option here to see all the questions or only my questions, and then I also have the ability to resort the questions based on the oldest question first to the newest question first or to the most popular question. When the teacher has answered the question, I will notice on my screen that they have answered it and it will indicate with a green check mark saying answered. Enjoy the new features in the Activities tab of Google Meet.